We've all heard the phrase, why have one when you can have two? And this definitely applies to my logic when it comes to technology. I've done this in the past many times. I have several Xbox Ones, several of the same monitors and whatever in the past. But what about recently? Well, as you guys know, I recently unboxed my brand new first ever 144 Hertz monitor from Dell. And I loved it so much that I bought a second one. So there you go. Why have one? When you can have two, and yes, they're pretty heavy. Let's see here. Oh. This thing, oh my god. This is a thing of beauty. Oh. Hello guys, how are you? David and Frankie here. From David and Frank at CEO. Do you guys really think I'm that stupid? This is the first box. I don't need that right now. This is the new box. This is my second ever Dell 144 Hertz monitor. And to be specific, it's the Dell S2716DG. Now what's interesting about this box compared to my first box, check it out guys, check it out. If you look right here, you'll see it says R. And as I noted in my first unboxing, the R stands for retail. Now the newer box doesn't have the R. So that's interesting. Amazon first sent me the retail box and then Amazon secondly sent me the non-retail box, which isn't a big deal. It's just an interesting observation. It's the same exact monitor, the same exact monitor. So with that said, let's unbox this monitor because I am hyped guys. This is technically going to be a triple monitor setup but a dual 144 hertz monitor setup and that's exactly what I'm titling this video because guys, I am completely sold on 144 hertz. If you're using 60 hertz, take my word for it. I'm no expert, but I noticed right away. It's like going from the uh, non-pro motion display on the iPad Pro to a pro motion display on the iPad Pro. I'm telling you, going from 60 hertz to 120 hertz or 144 hertz or 240 hertz, will change your life in terms of gaming and maybe even productivity. I'm not saying it's gonna make you work better or work faster, but you just feel more confident in a way, if that makes sense. Like even like the mouse cursor moves smoother, websites scroll perfectly smooth, and of course gaming looks downright incredible. So I never ever see myself buying another 60 hertz monitor again, because the difference is that clear. So with that said, if you wanna buy this monitor for yourself, Amazon link right below. Enjoy. Okay, I'm gonna unbox this rather quickly because you guys already know what it looks like on the inside. But, you guys know me. I love unboxings. I love them so much that apparently I took out my knife and put it somewhere. Hmm, professional, I know. Okay, apparently my usual knife is missing in action so I'll use this one. And if you guys don't wanna see this part of the video, just fast forward, not a big deal, but I'm gonna unbox it anyway because I am obsessed with unboxings. Was that tape already cut? I hope not. Unless I cut it before and I forgot. All right, this is a very large box, so make sure you have adequate space in your unboxing area. Oh yeah, it's brand new. We're good, we're good. Okay, as usual, Dell likes to include some artifacts in here. It's 2018, guys. It's 2018. Let it die. Let optical media just rot. It deserves to die. You get a little quick start guide on how to connect your monitor. You probably don't need that. It's all noobish stuff. Once again, the uh, connector for the base, the base itself. Mm, do, 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 display port cable, power cable, USB. Actually, if you think about it, if you add all the USB ports up together between both of these monitors, in a way, it's what, two, four, six, eight. It's like an eight port USB hub. Just something to think about. Not that I'm gonna use all eight, but hey, it's there if you need it. Let's 
Sounds like something's in there, but there's not. A lot of cardboard. All right, let's take it out, guys. My second Dell monitor, at least in recent years. I have had a Dell monitor in the past. Loved it. The backlight eventually died, but hey, shit happens, right? Knock this down. Just another box to put in the attic. And let's take off the condom. Can you see? You can see. Feels like I just did this. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah, girl. This is gonna be very nice. Of course, it is wrapped in plastic. That's always good. Now let's bring the base over and I'll show you guys how it connects. I promise you it's very easy. Just unwrap the base itself. Bada bing, bada boom. Make sure this is loosened on the bottom. A little hardware right there. It should be loosened by default. Yeah, it's pretty loose. Put it down like so. And then, take the arm out. And yeah, very nice. And this goes onto here. Like that. And then you just flip it over and screw that in. It's incredibly easy stuff. But this is something I did not show in the first video. So who knows? Who knows? As I like to say, if I can help one person out, then I've done my job. And this literally just clicks right on. Check it out. Ready? Here, hold on. Let me uh, turn a little bit for you guys. Kind of rest it on the back. I know you can't see too much. And then it clicks in naturally. It could not be simpler, really. It's su such an easy setup process. And the best part is you get to take this off. Oh. I'm telling you guys. I'm telling you, this is one of the most exciting parts of any unboxing. It's a very thin plastic. It's like butter. Very sticky butter. Here, hold this. I'm just kidding. Give that back. It's kind of like that feeling when you put a banana back in its peel. Woo, doggy, that is loud. Oh, man. Look at that clean rip. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of work, so. I'll be back in a bit. Hey, Siri, play classic rock. I love my HomePod. Keeps me entertained. Hey Siri, volume 50%. Nice. All right, I need some cat therapy. Maui, come here. Yeah, miracle key. Good boy. Guys, 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 look. I was not kidding when I said it was gonna take a while. No joke, that process took about two hours, maybe more. There was so much cable management I had to do, or in this case, cable mismanagement. It's a lot of work, but they have it. What do you think? Now, please, don't judge me. Don't judge me. I'm not done yet. This is just phase one of this monitor. Of course, I had to figure out cables and all that stuff, because right now, I'm not going to lie, it's a mess. It's a mess. It doesn't look that good in terms of organization. But in terms of functionality, it's kicking ass right now. Look at this. So on the left side, we have my primary monitor. On the right side, secondary monitor. Right now my chat room's up there, twitch.tv slash David Franco, and OBS is running. And up top is my third monitor. PC, as promised earlier, is pushed forward. Behind the secondary monitor is an absolute mess of cables right now. Eventually I wanna get some kind of visual element to balance this corner. That light for now is not going anywhere because I really like how it looks with the lights off from down here. So check it out. Let's make it all dark up in here. Of course, it's going to look even better, believe me. But uh, yeah, there you go. Not bad. Consoles were shifted forward. G Fuel actually did not have to go anywhere yet. I did take away my audio engine speakers. For now, I'm just going to put them in storage. It's just too crowded, guys. It's just too crowded for speakers. And honestly, my my uh, headset is used 99% of the time. The only time I use those speakers 
is if I'm playing off stream, which is very rare, or if I'm watching Plex, which I actually do nightly. But then again, I have my iPad Pro for that because I like to sleep with, with, with my iPad Pro next to me. And that's just what I like to do. Webcam is now on the right because check this out. When I'm glancing over at the chat, I want to be facing the camera. That way the chat knows I'm looking at the chat room. And in the background, nice little bonus. You can actually see my sheets blanket on the wall, which is definitely very cool. But there you go, guys. There's a preview. I do have this cable coming forward now instead of going uh, to the back and under the desk because it was kind of tight. So now this gives me more freedom to move around, get G Fuel or whatever without having tangle cables. It doesn't look as elegant, but for now, this is fine. And perhaps at some point I'll get a longer cable. And of course, my PC is still immediately to my right. It's not within my immediate um, line of sight, which kind of sucks, but that's to be expected when you push a PC forward. And I think it's worth it because, well, now I have a triple monitor set up. And just to give you an example, check it out. Boom. 144 hertz. 144 hertz. Up here, 60 hertz. Blech. But it is what it is. So 144, 144, 60. Not a bad deal, guys. Not a bad deal at all. And snap that to the right. So very nice. Huge, huge success. I am extremely happy with the results. And honestly, guys, this is perfect timing because I'm in the process of preloading Far Cry 5 for tonight. So I'm going to do my best to get all this done and edited, this meaning the video, and then I'll take it from there. Oh, and I did move my little LED clock right there in the background just so people can see it on the webcam. Keep in mind, this is going to look a lot better at night. My background looks kind of bland right now. But so far, I am quite happy with the results. Oh, and I moved my Echo Dot up here and the letter D for David. I don't know if that's staying. I'm just kind of experimenting. So, boom. Big change. Big change. And I still have a long way to go in terms of perfecting it, but I'm quite happy with this. Multi-monitor, baby. Multi-monitor. And of course, before I wrap up the video, let me get one shot like that. Not bad. Not bad. And now it is finally time for dinner. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And of course, if you want to buy that Dell monitor, I'm going to link it right below on Amazon. Disclaimer, that is my affiliate link, but if you buy anything through that Amazon link, that does help me out as a content creator. And of course, I appreciate it very much. Your support means the world to me. Thank you so much. And well, I'll see you on Twitch, twitch.tv slash David Franco. Peace.